What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. I'm December DeMarco, Fortune 500 marketer, here to share my insights of the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors. Salute to y'all for pulling up on the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up like button for the YouTube algorithm and do not forget to subscribe. We are on that road to 50K. So join the fam, join the DD Nation. If you're rocking with me, if you appreciate this type of content and you want to grow your portfolio, over this bear market you really want to tune into this so i got some links in the description section but before we talk about that be aware of the scammers in the comment section pretending to be me i will not tell you to reach out to me on whatsapp now you can check the links in the description of this video i got free resources down there for those getting started off and you want to uh you know do so with little investment on your own so uh check those links out free stocks free crypto also i created a stock options trading course I created myself just me teaching in the course you know what i'm saying i'm teaching all the information i learned over the years in the stock options trading game now a lot of people are uh you know new to it so they may not understand what it is but it is a way that you can make money betting in the stock market whether a certain assets price will increase or decrease so you can bet specifically on specific stocks prices to go up or speculate on their prices falling down so uh this is a uh, an example of a contract we did uh right before uh market close a couple hours and we were able to clear over eight hundred dollars now uh we did two separate trades that ended up making over that eight hundred dollars but just showing what's possible in a little bit of time with small investments and that's an example of a small contract now that money was made from betting that tesla price would fall down so if you want to know how to make money not only uh just waiting for the market to go up because we're in a bear market we no one knows how long this can last but you don't have to sit on the sidelines and not make money while this is going on and i've been telling y'all for weeks about options trading teaching y'all you know uh how to do this inside of my course so if that's something you're interested in you're ready to invest in your education reach out to me via email december to at gmail.com but even aside from just getting a course, this is to show you that, you know, we really know what we're talking about over here. And I'm trying to point you all in the right direction when it comes to, uh, you know, making money in the market. So let's take a look at this article real quick. And this is from Yahoo Finance. This is from Yahoo Finance, y'all, the, the, the top executives over there who control what can go out. And they dropped this article today. You know what they said? Here's the title. Here's what crypto traders are doing with volatility gone. So they're saying with you know without the price action in the market we don't see prices going up and down because normally day traders make money off of the price fluctuations when the price is going dropping they buy when the price goes up they sell so it's, it's the name of the game buy low sell high but when the price is not giving too much price action swinging high and swinging low it's hard to trade those areas of just sideways trading like that so this article is attempted to you know shed light on what wise investors or people with more experience are doing doing during this downtime now i want to give you all a second to take a guess and drop in the comment section if you think you can you know connect the dots so far and, and see what you know they're gonna say and also you know what i'm gonna say so uh let's get into this man i really enjoy uh sharing this content with y'all especially those that jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this because you know it just it rounds out the discussion so please feel free to do that uh let me know what you think about this in the comment section so here's what crypto traders are doing with volatility going so here's a uh surprise bitcoin volatility has come way down it's happened as the coin has traded in tight range so we can see the volatility is very low at some of the lowest levels we've seen since around april this is a chart graph and that right here has it right almost around this 60 level so let's see what the article goes on to say okay so besides dangling the opportunity to get rich quickly one of the biggest attractions for crypto traders was the ability to profit from wild price swings. Now with volatility all but gone, at least for now, both professionals and amateurs are altering their strategies as the crypto winter drags on. So you have to adapt and you know uh, develop new skills and strategies. Just because you come in a game learning about cryptocurrency or just one way of investing does not mean you need to stay that way. When you came in, the market conditions could have been different from you know where they are right now which you know obviously it is right now with us being in this bear market especially if you were in, you know last year so you know you don't want to keep the same strategies because the conditions are overall different and it can cause you a lot of stress if you didn't you know recalibrate or reanalyze you know uh your investment strategy 
So uh, a, a volatility gauge for Bitcoin has dropped in recent days to its lower, lowest level since April, reaching 61 on Friday. That's a far cry from the 140 it hit in May amid the collapse of the Terra stablecoin ecosystem. After surging to an all-time high of almost 69000 in November, the largest digital asset by market value has been trading in a narrow range of around $20,000 since June. Which begs the question, what exactly are crypto traders and investors accustomed to? The, which begs the question, what exactly are crypto traders and investors accustomed to the twists and turns of the asset class doing now to make money? So basically those with more experience in the space that have been around the block a few times, that's what I like to say, you know, and they seen, you know, uh, the different things that can take place, the good, the bad, and the ugly, you know, what are they doing at this time to make money? And I've been telling you on the last videos, Long-term investors generally make money, more money, over a, a longer period of time. But during a bear market, short-term investors generally make more money. Why? Because they're taking profits, they're buying low, they're selling high, they're speculating, and they're actually trading. And uh, during a bear market, let's say if the price is held down for two years, you know, if you're waiting for profits, you know, it can take you two years just to break back even if you're, you know, in the red. And then you, from that point on, you start to begin to make profit. But short-term investors that are day traders and whatnot people that uh you know trade options and things they can make money on the daily by using these strategies so uh if you're interested in learning how to make money in the stock market monday through friday reach out to me via email december demarco at gmail.com to get this stock options trading course this is for those that are ready to invest and take things to the next level if you're really serious about this now if you're still learning don't feel any pressure about having you know to uh, get the course or anything like that it's just for those that are ready to take things to the next level so uh Bloomberg News talked to a number of investors and traders about what they've been doing to survive the cheer, the chill. Here's a by no means complete list of strategies. So here's one, selling options. Julian Co, co-founder and CEO of Ribbon Finance, a structured investment products protocol for DeFi, says his firm seen increased demand to sell options, which can make money in a sideways market. So you see that people are resorting to options trading. This is something, and this article is from today. This is the people, top people at Yahoo Finance releasing this article today telling y'all about different strategies. Some people may have been a little confused when they see me start talking more about options trading on the channel, but that's because the overall strategy needs to adapt during conditions like this. And, you know, if you really tapped in and tuned into the channel, y'all know I've been telling y'all this for a few weeks now. So I've been trying to, you know, get y'all ready to, uh, you know, start to learn different things. And those of y'all that have been rocking with me since the early beginning, I already know y'all know about options trading, but we got a lot of new people to the channel. So I'm speaking from that uh, point of view. But uh, that's one of the things. So, you know, definitely, uh, you know, tap in for the course or it's a lot of free material on YouTube that you can uh, search up to learn options trading. But it can be very, very tricky. So remember, this is not financial advice and never risk more than you're willing to lose. So uh, let's see. Ribbon over the past month reached 100 million in total value locked a crypto term to denote funds deposited in a project from 70 million and its option vaults are doing well in this environment co says basically it's a way for people to express the view that markets will continue to be flat and still make money he added so it's it's a way for people to say hey we think the markets will still remain flat we don't think it's going to go up we don't think it's really going to go down but we still want to make some money you know we don't want to sit on the sidelines we're active you know investors we're active traders like let me show you all this let me see Hold on, let me put it on big screen for y'all real quick. Two hundred and fifty-two trading days per year. Two hundred dollars a day equals fifty thousand a year. Four hundred a day, hundred thousand a year. One thousand a day, two hundred fifty k a year. Four thousand a day, one million a year. Consistency is the key. So this is you know why you want to learn other you know strategies because you know there's a lot of money to be made outside of just waiting for. Uh, an assets price to you know just uh increase you can also actively trade it is a lot riskier you can end up losing more money but if you learn what you're doing before you just jump in there then you'll be a lot better off and have uh better odds so uh staking stephen mcclurg co-founder and chief investment officer 
at a digital asset fund manager, Valkyrie Investments has been risk off for for most of the year. But he says Bitcoin's a buy whenever it hits 17 to 18 thousand. That's when we're buying. We're waiting for those opportunities, he said in the interview. So that's another you know good thing to pay attention to. We got you know top people uh, of of investment firms you know waiting for that 17,000 18,000 range but notice how they're not afraid of those ranges they're looking forward to it he's saying we're waiting and that's where we're buying they're keeping dry powder or or money that they're not spending yet they're keeping it to the side cash available so that way they have the opportunity to buy the dips on these assets that's the smart way to do it that's what smart money does y'all uh so Let's see avalanche for uh but he's also seeing good opportunities with staking certain assets avalanche for instance is a token he favors because it took a big hit earlier in the year buying it and staking it can earn eight percent still given how uncertain things have been mcclurk has moved some of his firm's assets into cash sometimes doing nothing is a great strategy and that's what i tell y'all when i say sometimes you just got to sit on your hands and be patient that's what i mean sometimes you just got to do nothing you got to let the market play out you got to wait to see some different uh price action different uh you know market structure to uh, you know be uh you know to change you know you got to you know let the markets play out sometimes and then you wait for the uh you know for it to retest certain areas and that's where you take your entry you don't always have to panic and fomo and say i want to just jump right before you know this takes off sometimes most times it takes off and it it corrects so that's what you really want to be able to identify that correction you know it, it is good to get in before the run up of course but if you can identify correctly okay we just had this breakout we got this correction now is the time to get in here that's generally when you see you know uh a really good opportunity you know as far as profit taking now of course time in the market beats timing the market so it's best to just be in the market overall a period of time and just let it do what it has to do but you know that's just some game for y'all that you know are interested in day trading or short-term investing strategies so uh he says uh some of his strategies are more than 50 percent in cash that could mean straight up old-fashioned cash Though it could also include a stable coin like USDC or Gemini token. So keep that in mind as well. It can be one of those coins that, you know, are pegged to the one dollar level. But with the, uh, you know, collapse we've seen with some of these other projects, I would say it would be best to actually really do have some cash sent to the side. Of course, you can have some stable coins, but I would not just, you know, have the majority of that cash you got sent on the side and just uh, a stable coin. Because right now, uh inflation is, is killing you know crypto right now so it would be best to learn a new skill you know uh and you know it could it doesn't always just have to be through investing you know either you can learn a skill to start a new business you want to just do something where you can generate more income so that way you can take advantage of the prices that we're seeing in the market because these are very very low prices so uh playing the long game with with where bitcoin is currently trading it makes sense to go long According to Zahir, portfolio manager and crypt at crypto fund Ledger Prime, the market factors I look at tell me that a lot of people are positioned in the opposite way. So I think the expected value is for me to go long, he said. He's noticed the volume crush in the market, which is likened to Bitcoin's last halving event in 2020. But at some point, volatility will get super attractive. The range will break and volume will surge again. This makes it pretty attractive to get long volatility because then you can make money if if the range breaks if you think there's another catalyst he added distressed asset market one of the side effects of crypto downturn has been that lots of DAOs, decentralized autonomous organizations that allow holders to vote on different proposals sitting on treasuries that are in distress says michael uh, of proprietary trading firm dexterity capital meaning that their prices are beneath their treasury value the game then is hey can I convince the rest of the DAO to liquidate the treasury and then pay it out? And if I do that, the liquidation value is going to be greater than the price I'm paying of the token, he said on a recent episode of Bloomberg, What Goes Up podcast. And that's because crypto prices are sometimes irrational, he said, adding that he's seen this happen recently through his firm's. He's seen this happen recently, though his firm has not done anything like this. So a uh, very, very interesting article. You know, I think it was important to show you all that. You know, uh, we really trying to share some valuable information and we're weeks ahead of what, you know, top people like Yahoo Finance are telling y'all to, uh, you know, do in the market. Now, remember, 
this is not financial advice, so I can't tell you to do anything, but I can just share some information with you that can, you know, hopefully make you become a better informed investor. So let's check out the price of SHIB real quick. Now, there's not too much going on today in the market uh, regarding SHIB. So, uh, you know, we just got to use times like this to educate ourselves, to continue that journey of learning. You know, you got to continue to learn something new. Keep pushing yourself, you know, even though it can be hard, sometimes stressful, you know, uh, exhausting. Just don't give up. You know, always remember to be wise about this so that way you don't become an emotional invest investor. If you find yourself becoming emotional right now, it's because likely you invested more than you were willing to risk losing. The people who've been around the board a few times, who have, you know, some, some time in the markets, we understand this is just all a part of the process. So keep that in mind. Overall crypto market, $922 billion, up a half a percent right now. We got Bitcoin at $19,263. Ethereum at 1307, BNB at 271. Y'all know I really, really like these uh, assets up here. Uh, XRP 46 cent, Cardano 36 cent, uh, down 12% for the week. XRP down 11.5% for the week. Remember, I tell y'all the 10% discounts are is what I like. It doesn't all the time just have to be on the day. It could be for the week as well. If you see something, an uh, asset that you're feeling a little low on and you think the price is attractive enough, then you can definitely... Uh, feel okay with adding more to your back around that range now i really like to pull the trigger at that 15 percent level but if it's something that i really want i want to add some more to 10 percent isn't a bad discount so uh solana 30 dollars and 26 cent doge five cent uh polygon 80 cent up 1.6 percent we got uh sheep at that 10 28 level down six and a half percent for the week so let's take a look at it real quick let's take a look at some of the indicators on the day chart and see how things are lining up so let's grab our Bollinger Bands RSI and then our MACD okay so we can see right now the price is closely trading to this lower Bollinger Band which tells us we're getting it for a cheap price really the lower Bollinger Band is at this about 989 level or 984 right around that 98 level so if you can uh you know catch some if if it wicks down into that level that would be an absolute steal also y'all i really want y'all to pay attention to this heavily the rsi on the day chart is at a 38 y'all i'm gonna say this again the rsi on the day chart is at a 38 and the macd is lined up perfectly to be uh prepared to cross over this signal line when that happens Usually this is a lagging indicator, meaning it's already gone when you see this happen. But here is the sign to start buying. When the price is at a 35 and below, that lets us know the asset is oversold. Shiba Inu is currently in trading in oversold ranges right now. That means the price is a good discount at this price. That means people are devaluing or uh, undervaluing it mean meaning that they're not seeing the true value behind it and when that happens smart money steps in and takes the price to new levels so uh i just want y'all to know that keep that in mind don't say i didn't tell you appreciate everybody for rocking with me uh again i got the stock options trading course if you're interested in learning how to trade options in the market monday through friday i got some uh strategies in here that will break it down to you also it has some day trading principles and elements to it so you can use these strategies also you know or some of the information you learn inside this course not just for stock options, but you can use it for crypto. You can use it for trading regular stocks. You can use it even in Forex if you want to learn, you know, uh, that it's not teaching you Forex or nothing like that. So don't get it twisted. I'm just saying you can use some of the uh, strategies behind trading in some of these other spaces, too. So I hope you all understand that. Again, watch out for the scammers in the comment section. Appreciate you all for pulling up. We are out.